Hello everyone, I'd like to acknowledge and thank our subscribers who commented in the last video. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button as it helps us make great content for you here on this channel. What's going on everybody? Gold Wolf here. I like to think that most of us have split personalities when it comes to filmmaking. I know I do. Some of us identify ourselves as cinematographers because that's where our true passion lies. Others, videographers, because it's how we make a paycheck. Some of us are a hybrid of both in many ways. Some of us just love the art of shooting, period. No matter who you are and what you're into, identifying yourself can make creative decisions, setups, and finding the necessary tools for the job a lot easier on yourself. But the question is, how do we do this? How, how do we identify ourselves? Let's talk about my situation and how I answered these questions for myself. I knew I had a passion for cinematography because in the beginning, I wrote, shot lots of short films for myself. I had no experience, but yet I was able to frame well, so my teachers said. Then I realized I had a true passion for cinematography and the desire to master the craft. During this process, I picked up my first job shooting editing. What I learned quickly was that the cinematography style I loved didn't work well in many situations. Having a rigged up camera and heavy tripod to shoot talking head for YouTube was totally unnecessary. Setting up a thousand watt Fresnel and sliders was overkill. The audience didn't care if the shot was set up cinematically. It didn't matter that the camera pushed in or pulled or had contrast. It was about the information and the product. At events, I would lug around a heavy setup that killed my arms and back. Packing bags of gears and lights, I sometimes never used. Thinking back now, I would have been holding the camera itself with a neck strap and mounted a sound recorder to a cold shoe, making it easy on my back and arms and just calling it a day. This experience had me thinking a lot about the decisions I'd made and who I was becoming as a filmmaker. I would look at all this gear and be super exhausted. The reality had set in. I was being paid to be a videographer and not a cinematographer. This is the first time I had identified myself and understood what I was actually doing. Now that I had a clear understanding, I would pack lighter, shop for gear that would make my life more convenient and justifiable. When shooting, I made changes to my setup and how to frame, how I would block, spend less time on all the aspects that didn't really matter to the viewer at all. I still found ways to inject cinematography into the work, but the majority of the time was spent running and gunning grabbing what I could as quickly as possible. I was able to find a way to mix cinematography and videography together to make it enjoyable for me. I had labeled myself a run and gun cinematographer. Being able to identify myself gives me an understanding of what gear I should be investing into. And recently, you've seen the videos and the gear that I use. These are the tools I bring with me on all projects, no matter how big. There's obviously an exception, but usually this is what I bring. Today, this hasn't changed all that much with the exception of my own personal work. I do work for bigger clients and from time to time get national televised work, but for the most part, I make videos for the internet and YouTube. Do we really need 8K cameras? The size of screens my content is being viewed on is a phone or a computer screen. 1080p is passable. I found a way to infuse my passion for cinematography into videography projects. I still create short films, but have tailored my style of production in a run and gun type of way. Occasionally, I'll take my time and craft each frame, but it all depends on the time and place. With that said, who do you identify yourself with? A cinematographer, a videographer, or are you a run and gun cinematographer like myself? I'm interested to see how you guys respond in the comments below. Thanks to all my supporters who subscribe to this channel and show love by hitting that like button. I appreciate all of you. Till next time we meet, go film, have fun, make killer visuals. Jason Goldwolf, signing out.